Hi guys, it's Angela. I'm here to do the top 10 childhood TV favorite shows. This was started by Nicole, which is her username is xcherryboom, um, xo something. I'll, I'll link her channel down below. Um, so she started this really cool tag. It was such so much fun um, to kind of look back and uh, remember the TV shows I used to watch as a kid. Um, most of these I did not remember. Um, I kind of had to Google like kid shows of the 70s and 80s and, um, and then it kind of jogged my memory. And it was so much fun remembering back with all these shows and stuff. And uh, I am, I hate to say it, but I'm one of the older girls on YouTube. Uh, I was born in 75. Um, so basically these shows are, for the most part, from the 80s. And I will start with, um, I kind of group them into like channels. So um, I'll start with PBS. And um, my first one, of course, is Sesame Street. I grew up on Sesame Street, yes. Um, I, um, I don't really have a lot to say about all these shows because I don't remember them that much just from what I kind of Googled and, and saw online. Um, but yeah, Oscar the Grouch was one of my favorites. Um, and I loved, I think there was one episode where they actually showed what the inside of his garbage can actually looked like. And it was just so cool and a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, Sesame Street is number one. Um, the next one is Reading Rainbow. And um, the only thing, I they talk about like books and, and reading and stuff like that. Um, but the one thing that stands out in my mind from that show is um, the main host. And he used to wear these sunglasses that kind of looked like, um, I hate to say it, but a banana clip. And uh, most of you probably won't even know what that is. Um, it's like a really funny looking hair um, thing that kind of combed your hair back and, and tied it in a little clip. It's really Weird looking. Um, so his sunglasses that look reminded me of a banana clip, and and that's the one thing that really stood out in my head with that. The third one is three, two, one contact. Um, and that is more like a science-related um, show, courses. These are all learning shows and stuff that your parents want you to watch and should be good for the kids. And the fourth one from that is The Electric Company. And when I Googled um, these shows, it kind of showed like a clip of like the opening and, and, uh, and it just brought me back to... Uh, just love the openings of all these shows. It's just so much fun and they were great to watch. So the fifth one is the Nickelodeon show You Can't Do That on Television and um, Vanessa mentioned this one in her video and I didn't realize that that was really one of the video the shows that I used to watch until I googled that one and it showed the clip of the opening for that show and I'm like oh my gosh I totally remember the show um, I absolutely loved the opening of that show it was just really cute so yes I did watch that one all right number six is number six and seven kind of go together um, the Muppet Show came out first um, who doesn't like the Muppet Show um, it actually came back just recently with their big Muppet movie. Um, I did not get to see that yet. I'll probably wait. Um, I don't like going to the movie theater too often because it's just so darn expensive. And we can just watch them at home. It's so much nicer. Um, so yes, I love the Muppet show. And then the one that kind of stemmed off of that is Fraggle Rock. Um, 
that was such an awesome show that the puppets in that show were just so cute and and again I saw they rewatched the beginning opening of that show online um, and yeah it just took me right back it was just adorable all right and then the next the final four are from um, like basic regular TV um, the first one is the Wonder Years um, and of course uh, Vanessa mentioned that one too um, that was definitely a huge hit back then and uh, yeah that was that was just fun to watch the kids in, in the school and how they uh, dealt with school life and friends and stuff like that um, number seven Saved by the Bell of course um, I actually loved all the kids in that class except for um, Screech he was totally obnoxious back then and in fact I just happened to see a rerun yesterday during the day and uh, and I'm thinking to myself yeah he is still pretty darn obnoxious um, but all the girls on that show are just absolutely gorgeous and you all wanted to be like them and the boys were really cute and everything so yeah um, the next one is Punky Brewster and um, that might be a little bit older of even though she's kind of popular now Soleil Moonfry um, I see her and follow her on Twitter um, with her and her own children and uh, I just absolutely loved her um, the clothes that it was like mismatched and crazy and funky and and she's always getting into trouble and uh, yeah, she was just so darn cute. And then the last one um, is not very well known, but I had to throw it in because I absolutely loved it. It was called Gem and the Holograms, and this was more an animated show. Gem, I had the Barbie dolls and everything. She's just this beautifully drawn girl, um, cool hair and cool clothes and it was just a really cute animated cartoon series that I really really liked. So that is my top 10 children's shows that I used to watch way back then and uh, thank you so much Vanessa for tagging me in this video. Um, I tag anybody else who has not done this yet um, thank you also to Nicole who started this tag. It was a lot of fun reminiscing about these shows and uh, checking them on online and uh, bringing me back to my childhood. So that is my top 10 childhood shows and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!